All right, so the first thing that I did is just make my player object, enemy object, um, and you want to make a player object, a player sprite with um, a picture of the player, like punching or something. And you want to only make it about um, one, like maybe I'd say two to three frames long at the most. Um, so yeah, and then I just made my player, uh, my enemy, my ground. And you also want to make a life thing. Well, you don't have to, but I just did because, you know, some things weren't really working right. So, but, uh, yeah. And let's see, uh, what else do you want to make? You want Well, you want to make your objects. So I'll just go through my objects. Um, so first, I made my player object with gravity, of course. So you, it's good to make gravity. So I'll just go through this really quick. So check empty, x equals zero, y equals one. Um, objects only only solid relative. Um, yes. Uh, set gravity direction two seventy five and gravity zero point five, and then else and then set the gravity again and then direction equals two seventy and gravity equals zero. Okay. And then I did collision with ground and make sure your ground is solid and visible, and that's all you need to do for the ground. All right. So anyway, back to the Collision with ground. I did move to contact and direction equals direction. Maximum equals 12 and solid objects for against. And then I did set the vertical speed. And it's just, you just keep it everything how it is for the vertical speed, which is zero. All right. And then I did collision with enemy. So this we will get to in just a moment. Um, and then I just did some regular... Uh, some regular movements, which isn't it's not as advanced, so you don't have you can do whatever movements you want. So anyway, I just made the right go right, left go left, no key is like not moving at all. And then now this is what you need to do: press space bar or whatever other key to um, change uh, instance into my player hitting. So I made a player hitting sprite with I mean object out of my player hitting sprite. And so anyway, that's what you do for the player. And so I guess I should have said the space one after I told you about the player hitting. But anyway, uh, yeah, so we covered the ground, just solid. And then the player hitting. Okay, and we'll get to that like next too. So the next thing after you get your player done, um, you want to go and your ground done. You want to go and make a health bar. So this is a pretty pretty simple help bar I guess um, I use it in my games because I find it really helpful and you know it's just pretty easy okay so for the health bar just name it health bar or whatever the heck you want um, no sprite and you want to do a create event and here's the code for this global HP equals 100 alright first code global HP equals first uh, equals 100 and yes I will have these in order in the description box Okay, and then you put else, and then you put a start a block, and then you put another code, global.hp equals zero. And then in that box thing, you put jump to start. And you don't actually, you don't have to put the jump to start, I just did. Uh, if it works for you, that's awesome. So anyway, after that, you put a global.hp equals 100. Okay, so that's supposed to jump it, make him go back to the start position, and... Uh, refill all his health but I, I don't think it's gonna work cuz it didn't work for me but it might work for you I don't know uh, it was just something simple that I tried to do in about five minutes so anyway and then you wanna go to the draw you wanna make a draw event and then put another code and this is the draw health bar view um, underscore x view plus one comma view underscore y view comma view underscore x view plus 160 um, comma view underscore y view plus 16 um, comma global dot hp comma c black comma c red comma c green 180 comma um, tr uh, true comma one um, this thing I forgot what it was but anyway that's the code for that <coughs> And that's all for the health bar, and that will be for the player. And once you make your room, you need to put the health bar in there. Okay, and now to the player rating. 
So, oh wait, no. Now into the enemy. Okay, so for the enemy, uh, there's my enemy sprite right there. You just do create and a code. Hit points equals 50. That will be his total life. And I just did change sprite, and so he makes himself this sprite thingy. Okay, so then you do, you don't have to do the change sprite. You just have to do the code. And then I did step, and then if hit points is um smaller than zero instance destroy which that means if his life his hit points that he originally started with equals zero he's dead all right so then do collision with player another code global dot hp equals negative well um negative or well, minus equals five so what that's going to do is when he collides or when the player collides basically same thing um with the player so when the player collides with the enemy enemy his global HP, which is his health points, the player's health points, are going to go down. Okay? And then uh, we go to draw for the uh, enemy. And we go draw sprite. And draw your uh, enemy, put your enemy sprite for the sprite. Or if that doesn't work, if it says like sprite not found or something, which is what it did to me, which is really odd. Just make a little life sprite or whatever that's like almost exactly like them or just do whatever you want. And then just put X for X, Y for Y, and subimage negative one. And then do a code, draw a sprite stretched. Uh, shoot, I still can't remember what this thing is called, but this thing, enemy or whatever your enemy's name is, and then underscore. I mean, no, it's shoot, not underscore. Um, uh, comma is zero, comma X uh, minus five comma y minus 14 comma hit points um comma 6 this thingy all right and that's all for your enemy and oh yeah now into your player hitting <coughs> uh, excuse me okay so for this, this is really easy all you do is the collision with enemy hit points equals um minus equals 25 so what that does is when that particular object collis uh, collides with the enemy, that will take away some of his health, his hit points. Okay, and then put animation and change instance back into your regular player perform events. Yes. That will change it back into this. And your player, your regular player cannot hurt your enemy, but your uh, player hitting can hurt your enemy. So you kind of get it. So like, if you press this, if you press spacebar or whatever button, it, that changes your player into player hitting. That's the only sprite that can hurt your enemy. And once the animation is done for your player hitting, then it will change back to the player, which cannot hurt your uh, hurt your uh, enemy. Okay. So anyways, I told you before, put your health bar uh, health bar in your room, and uh, if you have more than one room and you don't want to keep placing your health bar in there and stuff, just check um, persistent. That will and then put it in the very first room, and that's the only room you need to put it in. That means that every single room from then on, from the first room that you put it in, um, it will your health bar will stay with you. And like if you got damaged in one room and you go to the next room, it will stay that same damage. But I'm not going to check persistent because I don't have more than one room. Alright, so anyway, I put, as you can see, I put my uh, ground and my player and the enemy in there. Okay, so I'm going to now, oh, what the heck, okay, sorry about that. I'm going to now play my game. So, uh, just a second, I'm going to just play it in a minute here. Well, no, actually, because it's going to go a little slow when I press play. I'm just going to skip to the uh, to the game itself. Okay, so I'll see you in a sec. Um, okay, so I'm back. And as you can see, uh, my enemy changed into the life sprite that I had because I put the uh, draw sprite into life sprite because for some reason it wasn't working with my enemy sprite. So anyway, let's test this out. So as you can see, my, uh, uh, my player's health is right here. And the enemy's health is right above his head. If you notice that little bar right above his head. Okay, so let's walk into my enemy really quick. And as you can see, my uh, life bar drastically goes down. Okay? And so now, let's go to the enemy and let's press space bar or whatever thing you put for the um, player hitting sprite to come out. 